Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday. Today we'll be talking about COVID-19 and the impact it has on pregnancy. So pregnancy itself is an immunocompromised state and this puts patients at increased risk for infection because their immune system is suppressed compared to a non-pregnant patient. And we don't have a lot of data from COVID-19 itself, but from what data we do have from viruses in a similar family as COVID-19, such as SARS and MERS, there does seem to be an increased risk of severe illness in pregnant patients exposed to these viruses. Other things that put patients at risk for severe illness are if they have comorbidities, such as asthma or diabetes. And again, we don't have a lot of data with COVID-19, but from what data we do have, there doesn't seem to be an increased risk for severe illness with these patients. So again, data is limited. The data that we do have comes from China and pregnant patients exposed to COVID-19 in early pregnancy have not yet delivered yet. So there are still a lot of unknowns. However, extrapolating from data that we do have from similar viruses such as SARS, that data is reassuring and there has not been shown to be an increased risk for pregnancy loss or congenital anomalies in pregnant patients exposed to SARS early in pregnancy. So there's limited data in terms of COVID-19 and the association to adverse obstetrical outcomes. And again, we extrapolate from viruses in a similar family, and there is data to show that pregnant patients exposed to similar viruses are at increased risk for low birth weight and preterm birth. And this is thought to be more due to severe maternal illness. And again, it's unclear if COVID-19 is going to have similar risks as these other viruses and further data is still needed. Vertical transmission refers to the transmission of the virus from mom to baby. From what data we do have, there does not seem to be vertical transmission occurring. However, data is limited. There have been cases of babies who have been reported positive. However, it is unclear if the babies were infected before or after birth, and the virus has not been detected in breast milk, amniotic fluid, or cord blood. So that's also reassuring. I tell my patients to treat themselves as high risk, primarily because there are a lot of unknowns with COVID-19 itself and viruses that are similar to the coronavirus have been associated with adverse outcomes. And some of the precautions I tell my patients to take is avoid touching their eyes, nose, and mouth often, to clean and disinfect surfaces that are frequently used daily, to use importantly hand hygiene, to avoid people that you know have been exposed or have been sick, and to stay home and socially distance as much as possible. This is an ever-changing landscape, and information will continue to come to light as we learn more about COVID-19. Please continue to stay safe and protect yourself. As always, thanks for watching this Fertility Friday. You can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok under the handle Anuk Heatherison MD. Thanks again and see you next time.